amongst a good range of programming languages. Python continues to be counted amongst the most popular programming languages. Python is a free and open source high level language. It is an interpreted language and supports functional, procedural, and object oriented programming. It can also run on all the major operating systems, including Windows, Linux, and iOS. Furthermore, it has a massive collection of libraries that can cater to a wide range of development. Since it functions on cross platform operating systems, Python can be used to develop a host of applications, including web apps, gaming apps, enterprise level applications, artificial intelligence and machine learning apps, software development, image processing, text processing, and many more. If you feel your stomach churning with excitement after processing all this information, go and grab your coding glasses, for we are going to jump into the world of Python and its diverse set of applications right away. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video, any queries or suggestions and I will also respond to your comments. Now moving to the agenda, first we will see what Python is and then we will see the features of Python. Moving ahead, we will see the applications of Python that is Python uses. So we will start from web development. So after discussing web development, we will see what is game development. Then moving ahead, we will see scientific and numeric. And after that, we will be looking into artificial intelligence and machine learning. Moving forward, we will be discussing about desktop GUI. So basically GUI is a graphical user interface. So we'll discuss about desktop GUI also in detail. So now coming to the software development, Python is used as a supportive language by the software developer. Next, we are having business applications. So Python is having a several uses and it is used in business applications too. Moving next, we are having web scrapping applications. So we are having several web scrapping tools like Selenium and many more, we will see. So next we are having data visualization. So data visualization means analyzing the data. So we are having several tools for the data visualization such as matplotlib, we are having Seaborn, Plotly and many more. So using these tools, you can plot graphs. Next, we are having image processing. So basically it's a method in which we are performing the operation on an image and we are finding the useful insight or information from it. So we are having several libraries for image processing such as OpenCV, Sci-Fi and many more. So this is the basic outcome of the course. So let's understand what is Python. So Python is a free and open source. So what do you mean by free? So free means that it's freely available without any cost and you can download it from the official website. Now coming to the open source, it means a source code is publicly available. That means you can download it. You can also use it and share it. Now coming to the second point, Python is having a high level language. So Python is a high level language because you don't need to manage the memory. Also, you don't have to remember the system architecture. Now here you can see that it also supports functional, procedural as well as object oriented programming. So Python supports classes, polymorphism, encapsulation, etc. in OPS. So the next point is that it is an interpreted language. So that means a Python code is executed line by line at a time. Now coming to the next point, Python is portable. So what do you mean by portable? So let's take an example. You are having a Python code and you are running it on Windows platform. So for running it, in the Mac or Linux platform, you don't have to change the code. You can run the same code. So this is the meaning of portable. So if you're running a Python code in Windows platform, the same code can be run on the Mac as well as Linux platform. So now coming to the last point, it has a massive collection of libraries. Python consists of a huge number of libraries such as NumPy, Pandas. Then we are having Seaborn, Matplotlib. We are having PyTorch. We are having TensorFlow. So these are some examples of libraries present in Python. So along with these features, Python is very simple as compared to C, C++, Java because it has simple syntax. So this is the basic idea about Python. So after knowing what Python is, now let's see Python uses. So basically Python uses means the applications of Python. So we'll see the applications of Python in detail. So the first application that we are having is web development. So 
Python provides us several choices for web development. We are having several Python web frameworks such as Django and Pyramid. And also we are having Flask and Bottle, which is micro framework. So along with the web framework, Python also provides advanced content management system such as Plone, Django CMS. Now, Python web framework is also known for their scalability, flexibility and security. Along with that, this Python web framework consists of libraries as well as modules, which is used to simplify tasks. So this is the basic idea about the web development. So the next application of Python is game development. So Python provides many useful libraries to develop interactive games. So now coming to the game development, as I told you that Python provides us very useful libraries to develop games. So we are having basically two libraries. The first one is the Pi game and the another one is the Pi Soy. So basically a Pi Soy is a 3D game engine that enables developers to build or to deploy games on cloud. So coming to the last point, Python is the foundation for many popular games such as Battlefield 2, Reds on Fire and many more. Also, Python is used as a scripting language for many game engines. So this is the basic idea about the game development. So the another application of Python is that it is used in scientific as well as numeric computing. So as I already told you that Python is extensively used in scientific and numeric computing. Along with that, Python is having a huge library base. So we are having several Python packages that are used in scientific and numeric computation. We are having pandas, we are having sci-fi, we are having IPython, we are having NLTK. So basically NLTK is used for natural language toolkit. So here coming to the pandas, pandas is a very useful library that is used for the data analysis. Right. So this is a basic idea about how Python is used in scientific and numeric computing. So coming to the next application of Python, Python is also used in artificial intelligence as well as in machine learning. So now first let's understand what is artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is a technique that allows machine to think and work like a human. For an example, let's take an example of self driving car. So here you don't have to drive the car. So what happens here exactly machine thinks like a human brain. Now coming to the machine learning, machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence where the machine learns from its past data, right? So let's take an example. Let's take a facial recognition. So using a database of a people system can find the commonalities and match them to the faces. So this is the basic idea about machine learning. Now coming to the deep learning, deep learning is a subset of machine learning. So basically it is inspired by the human brain and it contains an artificial neural network. So the example of deep learning is the text generation. And let's take another example as language identification. So this is the basic idea about the artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. So let's see the Python another application that is desktop GUI. What is GUI? As we know that GUI stands for graphical user interface. So here in desktop GUI, what will happen here? It allows the users to interact with computers. So here Python provides several GUI toolkits and frameworks to create desktop graphical user interface. We are having Kiwi, which is a Python framework. Then we are having TK interface. So here TK interface is the Python interface to the TK GUI toolkit. Now moving further, we are having PyQt and PySide. So these are also the GUI toolkits. So this is the basic idea about the desktop GUI. So we can use Python frameworks to create desktop graphical user interface. So now coming to the software development, basically software developers use Python as a supportive language because packages and applications in Python are used to simplify the process of software development. Now you might have a question that why a software developer use Python as a support language because it is used for build control, testing and management. So for an instance, track and roundup are good for bug tracking as well as project management. And now coming to SCONS, it is explicitly designed for build control. And at last, we are having BuildBot and Apache Gum, which allows the automated continuous compilation and testing. So in this way, Python is used in software development. So now let's see the Python use in business application. So business applications are basically created according to the specific requirements of the organization instead of focusing on individual customers. So let's understand in a simpler way that 
if you want to create a business application then you have to create it according to the requirements of any organizations right so here if you are building a business application so it is very complicated to create a business applications so here comes the python into the picture so python provides some special features such as scalability flexibility and readability which are required to develop an efficient and fully functional business applications so here we are having some tools in python that are used to develop a business application the first tool is triton so triton is basically a three tier high level general purpose platform application which is used to develop business application so now coming to the odo odo is all in one management software so that form a complete suit of enterprise management application so this was all about business application so python is also used in web scraping so let's understand what is web scraping actually so basically it is used to take out a large amount of data from a website or you can say that from web pages also the data which is extracted it will be used in real world processes such as job listing or you can say research and development and also the extracted data can be used for the comparison of prices now we are having some best python web scraping tools starting from selenium we are having beautiful soup we are having scrappy python requests lxml urlib so this is all about the basic idea about web scraping applications so moving to the next application of python we are having data visualization so what is data visualization basically it is a process of understanding data through graphs and charts which is converted from large data sets so in a simple words we can say that we are using data visualization to analyze the data now let's take example to understand in a simpler way let's suppose i'm having a data set of cricket players so in that data set i'm having a list of players who are having the best batting average best bowling average most number of runs as well as wickets so if you want to analyze that which player has scored more number of runs then we can use this data visualization tools in python so we are having several data visualization tools in python such as matplotlib seaborn plotly boke altair pegel so these are basically data visualization tools that are used to plot graphs so here if you see matplotlib and seaborn these are also used to plot graphs and here in plotly we are having some extra features as compared to matplotlib and seaborn because we can zoom in and zoom out the image so using these data visualization tools if you want to know that which player has taken more number of wickets and if you want to draw the graphs also you can draw it so this is the basic idea about data visualization so the next application of python is image processing so python is the suitable choice for the image processing so let's understand what is image processing so as the name itself suggest it's basically a processing of an image so image processing is a method in which we are performing a operation on an image to extract the useful insight or information from it now we are having several python libraries to accomplish the image processing now coming to the open cv it stands for open source computer vision library so basically it consists of 2000 plus optimized algorithm that are very useful for computer vision as well as machine learning so you can use open cv in image processing through image segmentation or you can convert the image from one color space to another so now after open cv let's understand what is scifi so scifi is used for the scientific and technical computing now we are having scikit image so this is also a library that is used for image processing moving next we are having pil or pilo so pil stand for python image library so basically it provides a wide range of image formats such as jpeg png and you can perform several operations on an image like rotation cropping it etc then we are having mohtaz and simple itk so these are also the python libraries which you can use for image processing so this was the overall idea about image processing in python if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any new updates or video releases from great learning If you enjoy this video so as some love and like this video knowledge increases by sharing so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues make sure to comment on the video any queries or suggestions and i will also respond to your comments